This Mac and American Conference Tournament Edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet 100, get 100 at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash winbet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by the SGPN merch store. Head over to store.sports. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com and use promo code MADNESS for 10% off orders of $40 or more. Hey, this is LeGarrette Blunt, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Sorry, just decompressing over here. Coming up from a deep, deep dive. Oh, with my buddy Colby. Mm, of course. Mm. My skipper under the water. <laughs> Join us here to talk college basketball. Colby Dan, aka the Dantabase. What's up, Colby? I'm like Ed Harris in the Abyss, Sean. You ever seen the abyss? Was he a bad no, guy? Never saw it. You never saw the abyss? Nope. Good God! I, Colby's taking in every. The, oh. the problem now, though, if he goes and watches, it's too dated now. You missed yeah. a very good movie back then. Most of Ed Harris's <laughs> movies haven't aged well. I, w- I would say in general. Oh, big Ed Harris guy here. Uh, but a big lot of Ed those, Harris guy. A lot of those movies yeah. haven't done so well. We got the diving helmet out uh, for the SGP and dive team who dove deep and got you that pearl of Cal Poly. Mm. Uh, I had Cal Poly on the money line. That was my dog. That's pretty awesome. We're all sweating out. Kramer had never heard of Cal Poly. He was <laughs> snorkeling away. Well, first of all, uh, l- little story about me uh, in the Sweet 16 of the national rugby championships in college, we did actually play Cal Poly. They beat us. Mm. So very aware. So of them. Th- thank you for asking. Took it personal. Snorkeling. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I'm a little disappointed because before the show, you were about to give me shit for forgetting the Ivy League. I was going to make fun of you on the show today <laughs> for forgetting the Ivy well, League. They, well, they forgot about us during COVID when they didn't have a season for two years. And All right. uh, yes, we will. They were the, they <laughs> I have no problem not doing a podcast on them. Right. <laughs> didn't uh, who was who won the. Uh, who did the media give the national U- championship to? to? Uh, yeah, because they uh, canceled UConn, their season. UConn, yeah. UConn. They ca- <laughs> close to the Ivy League, but not quite May the Ivy well League. Uh, yeah, we will be covering the Ivy League on Thursday's show, allegedly. Okay, we got we got to talk some news though, because I know futures. Eddie okay. Lampkin, the big man for TCU, has left the team. Yeah, breaking news. What are you doing to me, Eddie? To had TCU like TCU, that is an unfortunate break for the Horn Frogs, and especially it, there's no news yet on on whether or not he's going to be back for the regular tournament. But obviously, that would have a huge impact there as well. Uh, and it looks like Syracuse. There's a there's a chance uh, Bayheim possibly is retired. <laughs> this goes back to me in uh in September when when we were in Vegas at the win and. Uh, I went over to get a, a meal if you guys ate without me like the selfish bastards you are. And uh That sounds and like something we would do. <laughs> and I, Colby, I, I, I anytime we're out in Vegas, I gotta hang out with my friend. Colby, <laughs> we're going to a nice dinner. Sorry, I gotta do some friend time. Yeah. So I go I go to grab some food and there's like ten Syracuse guys, uh, alums there, like in their mid forties that are that are uh there for some type of college reunion and I, so I'm just talking to them at the bar and they're like we got to get Bayham out of here. We got to <laughs> get him really? out of here. We're he's behind. The, we're behind the eight ball. He's you the know. problem. Huh? Yeah. Well, they just say he doesn't bring in any recruits. The in NIL era Syracuse ha, has a ton of money. They should be really good in football, really good in basketball. They're not taking sports seriously. It sounds right like yeah, they got that Casas money. Why? Yeah. Why aren't they printing that Mike Tarico money? money too? Right. Yeah. So he's got sounds it going. like Dino Come on. Babers just caught a little shrapnel, a little side <laughs> yeah. shrapnel there. Uh, I thought they were okay this year in football. Well, well, well it, coach special teams for sure. Isn't it poetic justice? Though that uh, he calls out Wake Forest and Wake Forest just flushes the toilet on his career. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't consider that poetic justice. Uh, that's because I was on Syracuse, <laughs> dared to dream, dared to believe. 
But hey, Cal Poly's gonna take us to the promised and, land. And that Charm- kid who looks like Sideshow Bob can shoot. I mean, Sideshow Bob with a step back oh, three yeah. is pretty awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's- and I appreciate uh Black Kirk Cousins in the chat giving the appropriate <laughs> credit to the new three fifty to one system. <laughs> But I <laughs> debuted this conference uh, well, <laughs> tournament season. Well, that's of course Dak Prescott is known as Black Kirk Cousins. So Black Kirk <laughs> Cousins, aka Dak Prescott, you're cool in the chat, uh, man. Even though, even with that Q's loss, uh, well, at least for me, it was a loss. Um, I think uh, Col- I, Colby I was on. Also. Colby was on uh, Wake, but Kramer, sixty three percent of his conference tourney picks have been winners. Sixty nine percent of the locks. Mm. I'm sitting at fifty six percent. Uh, overall, 58% of my locks. Colby, 59%, 61% on the locks. Discord is just getting their ass mm, mm, whooped. Mm. 10, 25, and 1. Of course, we gave you Simo. I gave you Cal Poly on the money line. We, I mean, the Cal Poly story, we got to monitor here because I think there's a shot. They play competitively. No, I know. So like Colby, Colby had a great line before the show. He goes, "They lost 18 in a row, but they're not as bad as their record shows. It's actually impossible to be worse than an 0 and 18." I'm just saying, like Chicago State a couple years ago lost like 18 in a row. They were losing by 40. This team was playing competitively left well, they, and right. They got, they got Santa Barbara coming up, and uh, I think both games they lost by like four and five points. Yeah. So they were in those games. UC Irvine, they were they came down to the final possession. Uh, but we do have other news, man. And this this is what I'm saying. This field is so now it's Lampkin, but Lampkin out for TCU, who I had as one of like f- probably six to seven teams that could win the national championship. Jalen Clark, UCLA's third leading scorer and the best defender, what? maybe in the country, out for the year. Damn it! What happened? Achilles tendon injury. So that is brutal. So now, I mean, the field is looking more open by the minute here, guys. <laughs> you know, you got you got situations going all across the board here with injuries. Uh, you're seeing it with Butler's injury report today, even though they're not con- national title contenders. It's but I'm my saying, favorite like, part of every day is Colby coming into the office and being. Horribly disappointed by some late breaking injury <laughs> news. That Dude, I have Im- a future on TCU to win the national championship. It's, I was crushed when I yeah. saw. I was like, "You fucking well." And with, at least yeah. with TCU, we don't know what it is, and he could come back. But the phrasing of "step away from the team" makes you think it's yeah. going to be longer. Yeah. If it was just like, "Hey, I'm going to miss a couple of days for a funeral," they would usually release that. Uh, who knows? Yeah. Who knows what's going on? Uh, hope, hopefully, the guys. Also, are right. also, what Wyoming's head coach is is out today with a family family situation. Uh, I like my tragic magic situation. You guys oh. want to switch? You guys want to Benedict? Can you play that? No, music? no, I'm still on New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> They'll win and dedicate it to the Wyoming coach in his honor. All right. Hey, we got some college basketball conference tournament uh, futures. And of course, picks for the games. Hey, you're getting down on college basketball. You got to do it over at sports. Give slash win bet where you can bet big win even bigger. The win build your own bet. Cannot wait. The tourney time is officially here. We'll be giving out some of our favorite win, build your own bet, AKA their, their same game parlays. Listen to us just building skyscrapers of SGPs. brought to you by S G P so many ways to win. Of course, bet 100, get 100 state restrictions apply on that. And of course, if you hit the biggest long shot parlay of the week, you get a thousand dollar free credit. So many ways to win. Sportsmanpackets.com slash W Y N N B E T. Offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where play through winbet is available. If you or somebody knows game of problems, call 1 800 522 4700. I also oh. I also saw the news that Will Levis was quoted as saying, "Right now, I can bring a team a championship." No. Wow. Does, does that mean like he picks it up at the trophy store and drops <laughs> it off? Did you see this? And you're I, kidding. No, read that right I, there. I, oh my. I God. swear it's not the end. But did you see the article that uh, Will Levis is uh, supposedly deathly afraid of milk? And that they like teams. That's, is that why he puts mayonnaise what, yeah. in his that coffee? Would, that would explain a little bit there. Hold yes. on, he yeah. puts mayonnaise in his coffee, which cups. is still milk, right? Isn't there milk in there? That's a deathly yeah. afraid of milk. What? Um, no, it's called gallophobia. Uh, and, and, and he's going to win a championship. 
the quote, get the fuck quote, out. This is here. a legitimate concern NFL teams have with Kentucky quarterback Will Levis is his deathly fear of milk. I've been told he screams in terror at even the sight of milk, let alone the taste. <laughs> it impedes his daily tasks. A source said, "I'm worried how he'll fit in an NFL program." <laughs> This is just madness. A big candidate for osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. None of that is real. T- TJ from the research team checking in uh, on the chat, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Of course, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you're in the chat, toss us the thumbs up. Come on. Got a bunch of people watching. Need a bunch of thumbs up. We're hitchhiking our way to winners. Uh, TJ asking, did Will Levis even win a high school championship? <laughs> I don't think he did. I, and either way, I like that it, narrative. This isn't about him not winning in college. This is about him not looking like a good quarterback. <laughs> like th- there's a two- It's one thing to like to have like a cannon arm, make some amazing throws, but then lose games cuz your defense sucks or uh, you know, a couple of inopportune turnovers. You're not on the best team. Yeah. Okay, great. That's he, fine. Him and Anthony Richardson like really didn't pass the eye test for me. Well, especially Richardson, I would say. Like Levis well, Levis I don't know. had I, flashes to I, me of I'm like see- I'm seeing the NFL fluff pieces with Anthony Richardson drawing plays on the on the board with Mooch. Like, come on. I mean, if a good coach can get Anthony Richardson, like I do believe his raw skills like he has if if he can I'll it's concede like, that. It's he like has, Josh <laughs> Allen when you saw him like at his sophomore year at Wyoming, you're like, they might have something here. I if I was Richardson, I probably would have played another year of college, but I will. I will one hundred. I mean, you, I don't think you can play another year of college if you're if they're talking about you as the number one pick yeah, overall. You, you well, go. I don't think you knew that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta if go. You're, if yeah, you're yeah. plus three hundred to be the number one pick overall, you gotta not mad at him. Yeah. You know? All right, let's get to it. Let's talk about the I, Mac. What do we got, Kramer? Well, I was sitting here while you were doing the read, and I was like, is this even possible? I, so the Patriot League has not concluded yet. And so uh, it has when it, when when Colgate played this first game, it concluded. Well, uh, not uh, officially, <laughs> but assuming Colgate wins, we we've taken you through this journey, and we've only gotten the Sun Belt champion wrong, what, like in terms of one of us giving out which, a winner, which we knew by the way. So actually, I should say the one projecting the Sun Belt. So let me just say it out yeah. loud: Atlantic Sun, Horizon League. Uh, of course, we all hit the the Atlantic Sun. Colby hit the Horizon League. Shout out to him. Uh, me and Sean hit the OVC. We're about to hit yeah. the Patriot League. Me and Colby. Yeah. We got the Sun Belt wrong. AE, we got. We're gonna hit the. AE. We all got yeah. the Big South right. We all. Uh, you guys got the Ohio Valley right. Shout out to Simo. I got the Northeast Dog. right. I, I mean, again, this is this is almost um. We b- we all got Drake Missouri correct. Valley. We got Gonzaga wrong. We're sorry about that. <laughs> no, well, well, we that you don't want to play that. We kind of anyway. knew, yeah. Like uh, we got the SoCon wrong. You got Wilmington right in the CAA. We all no, got no, the- no, no. I didn't. Wilmington lost in oh, the did championship I, did, game. Did this get okay? They so blew a ten point lead with like three minutes left. We we yeah. got we got that one wrong. We Charleston all got, won. We got so Bob. you got that right though. Oh yeah, I got that right. Yeah. Even better. And we all got <laughs> Bob Roberts right. <laughs> And we're alive and everything else. This isn't this. Could we could we effectively hit uh, the almost every conference on the winner? Of course, stay the sun tuned. Belt. Of stay course, the tuned. sun belt was the, the one. Tout team needs to get on that. Stay tuned uh, to, and find out. All right, we only have two conferences, so plenty of time for Colby to hang out in the hot tub on top of the jet ski. Uh, the Sean is driving that. around. Wait, real quick. You mentioned hot tub, and I would be remiss not to mention. They're back better than ever. Sword vitality. Oh. <laughs> Think about it. If you're, if you got a big hot tub, uh, hot tub weekend plan, you and the uh, lady friend, you got to head over to sword mm. Use that promo code S G P N get you a nice discount at checkout again, sword promo code S G P N. I, you know, again, favorite part of the best part of waking up to me is a cup of coffee and a rock hard erection. And if you're not getting <laughs> A great cup of coffee or a rock hard erection. You gotta fix that. Sword <laughs> Vitality helps you out. Oh, Again, you're shit. already doing the manscaping. Why not take care of the plumbing? Swordvitality.com, promo uh, code SGP, and give you the stamina, the blood flow you need to succeed. Don't do battle with a soft sword. Unsheath mm. your sword and go to swordvitality.com, promo code SGPN mm. for a nice discount at checkout. Does the dungeon master co sign this? 
<laughs> uh, what in terms of boners or sword? I mean, I think sword vitality. Are you on board? I I I enjoy the moxie and the overall confidence that it takes to name your product sword vitality. So this is rolling a twenty on a on now, that twenty sided die. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, what I, you know, I I we can use a craps analogy. I enjoy those those dice based games as well. But I I will say. We probably have. Maybe we should sit down with the executives over there because I do think us introducing the metal, uh, steel uh, sounding <laughs> shing shing. is really driving home how rock hard. I'm curious yes. what where where you grabbed that uh, green. Did you use like? Did you just search well, for I like mean, Conan the Barbarian sound drop? <laughs> we don't have the you know, the best drywall in the studio, so. Mm. You know when John mistimes his sword vitality. Look out! We got some. <laughs> We got some. We had a couple patch kits to to work on the wall. All right. So the Mac, one of our favorite uh, conferences out there, outside of the pack or the Big Twelve and the Big East. Colby, is there a more fun conference in the land? Uh, I don't know. Although uh, I was I was gonna I was in I wore my my directional Michigan short shirt, not realizing that the, none of the directional Michigan schools were allowed to play postseason basketball this year because they all suck. <laughs> That's impressive. All the Michigan, all Central Michigan, not there. Western Michigan, not there. Mm. I'm forgetting which which one am I forgetting? Well, uh, uh, Eastern. Eastern, Eastern Michigan with also, the Monty Bates, the number one recruit in the nation two years ago. I, I, come on, be a conference that lets everyone in from the bottom to the top. Miami of Ohio, the eight seed, 130 to one. Northern Illinois, the seven seed, 80 to one. Buffalo, the six seed, 25 to one. Ball State, the four seed, very scrappy, 15 to one. Ohio, the five seed, eleven to one. Akron, you know I love Akron, Colby. Three seed, four to one. Toledo, the one seed, plus one seventy. Kent State, the two seed, plus one sixty. The favorite. What are the chances that Bronny goes to Akron next year? <laughs> Zero. I think he um, goes uh, UCLA, USC, Oregon, maybe. Nike connection. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. He could be a star at Akron. He's just going to be a scrub at those other schools. That's also true. Um, he's not that elite. But did you see LeBron's tweet about how he's been watching some of these other cats on uh, League Pass and Bronny is better than them? Uh, like, honestly, and yeah. then he t- tagged a new phrase, "lightweight hilarious," which I'd never heard of. Get him to LMU. Yeah. Oh. Solves all the same, oh. all those there problems. You know. <laughs> honestly, like w- in this NIL world, like what? LMU should be a powerhouse. They have a or ton Pepperdine. of money. They have a oh yeah, Pepperdine. Why? Really and too. they have that they filthy can new Ram Stadium. They need to start their football program because the Ram <laughs> Stadium is right up the road. It's true. Uh, shout out to Chad G. Who also says, side note, SGPN store is awesome and their oh, customer wow. service is fantastic. Look there you go. That yes, sir. Nothing, nothing Sean likes more than a great customer service story. All right. So, I mean, again, the pricing, you know, if you didn't know better, you might think, oh, some of these teams don't have a chance. Every one of these teams has a fucking ch- chance because it's the Mac. Uh, now, I'm, I'm not personally going to be betting on uh, Miami of Ohio or Northern Illinois, but I'm pissed off that they adjusted here. What do you mean they adjusted? Like I thought Kent State's odds because they hadn't been playing great the final like two weeks of the season I feel like or three weeks of the season I thought I was going to be able to get great value on the Golden Flashes. Mm. Mm. No, they they know they're the favorites, Colby. Well, they're not the one seed. I know that's what's that's what but that, like, that's how it works. I mean, we're yeah. not like the gamblers are the betting public. Uh, obviously, they listen to this show, they listen to your show. Not stupid. So they they understand that Kent State's. Pr- I mean. You could probably, I mean, if they were the one seed, what would their price be then? Maybe it would be like minus one ten. So maybe you're still getting a discount. Yeah, Toledo and Kent State obviously dominant. Kent State fifteen and three in conference. Toledo sixteen and two in conference. This is played though in, in Cleveland, and I see Akron is yeah. is really close to Cleveland. Obviously, yeah. that oh. is an advantage. Um, uh, John Gross, coach of a coach of Akron, went to the Sweet Sixteen with Ohio in 2016. Do we think Akron could make a little bit of a run? And Kent State has not been great against Akron and Toledo. Zero oh. and four against Akron and Toledo. Colby or uh, Sean, you know I love Akron. Yeah. So if I'm taking a chalk team in this conference, it's I, I'm I I appreciate like I'm with Colby. Kent State probably is correctly the favorite. Not, I mean Toledo's interesting because they have a very simple first round matchup, um, but yeah I, I'm. 
I'm I'm definitely starting my card with Akron. I'm I'm looking to fill it out maybe with a ball state. Where is Kent Ohio? Something like the, that. The, uh, so Akron, if they win, then they would probably play Kent State there. So if yeah. you're thinking of playing Akron and Kent State, I don't know if there's no no. I'm playing. I'm I'm thinking Akron and Ball State. Ball State because uh, Ball State's up on the top part of the bracket. I'm just the wa- four seed. I got Ball State wrong a couple times this year, and I started. I was watching them closely, and they just wrote them down in the black book. Well, you know who they 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 went out and hired. Uh, See now, Ball State has they've kind of cooled off uh, towards the end of the season. One and four in their last five games. They're also dealing with uh, Jaron Coleman has turf toe. Peyton Sparks uh, ankles both are injured, so maybe he has the Carson Wentz thing where you get two, two sprained angles. ankles. H- here's why we don't take Ball State. Oh, Michael no, Lewis no. doing a great job year one. He was a, an assistant at UCLA. Uh, so you're saying my data is old. Well, they're great in Muncie, this. man. They're oh, great in I Muncie. See. They struggled away from Muncie. Okay, uh, so I still have Akron and no one else. Scratch Ball State. Do we like Buffalo? They're no. an up and down team, man. Sometimes when they're on, they they're capable. I, you know, what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kent State. And I'm gonna go. Really, you're gonna take Kent State and Ohio. Mm. <laughs> What's the Ohio angle? Ohio, obviously, they lost Mark Sears, who went to to Bama. Ben Vanderplas went to UVA, and uh, they lost Jason Carter oh. to graduation last year. But they keep a good program, and they've oh. been getting better as the season as the season's been. Sign like, me up. It's perfect. Gives me a team on the other side. Their price. No, I'm, is I'm with you at 11, 11 to one. So I want taking, something. I'm just doing Akron yeah, and Ohio. Right. That's the, uh, exactly what. I'll so do. you're doing, Kerm. Yeah. You don't want to take Toledo because actually, I mean, Toledo can score with the best of them, but you know, they, they probably will win it. Even though, uh, what are you doing right now? Even though East Carolina, <laughs> what are you doing I'm, right I'm now? trying to flex East Carolina. East Carolina did beat the one seed in the Mac. We'll talk about East Carolina a little bit. Um, yeah, Kent State. Ohio, Ohio can really offensively really uh, perform at a pretty high level. Fourth in the conference, offensive rebounding, third in offensive efficiency. Um, not bad defense either. And and to Kramer's point. I want to have someone up there in the top part of the bracket to balance out my Akron side. So yeah, but I'm I'm going heavy on Akron. You're going heavy on Akron. Heavy. All right. So what? Colby's Kent State, Ohio. You and I are Akron, Ohio. Per Ken Palm, Akron number two offense and number two defense in the Colby. Conference. Uh, last question before we get to the games: Are you worried Kent State zero and four versus Akron and Toledo this season? Yeah. He, yeah. Are you sure he, about that? I don't know. That's what my numbers are showing. Kent, w- say it I again. I don't believe that is accurate. Yeah. Um, they they, uh, they lost to Akron once. Yeah, I just watched them beat. Uh, oh, oh, you're right, one yeah. and one. They yeah. lost the other one in overtime. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look, they're the the they're the best defensive team. Defense wins in March. This is a team that I think can go pretty. If they can win this tournament, they're watch out for them in the NCAA tournament because this team almost beat Houston at Houston. Uh, I just think they're 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 a quality team now. They got to get through the gauntlet here because I could see Toledo, the way Toledo plays offense, they are capable of being red hot and blowing out anybody at any time. Uh, Akron's a solid team. Ohio's a solid team. Ball State, I think it's a year away, but uh, even that, they had a great year. So give me Kent State, give yeah, me I Ohio. Mean, okay. I was going to say, well, closing it up on that, why Akron? Akron, the team Akron doesn't want to face is Toledo. and. You know, I think in our theory, our theory is maybe Toledo doesn't make it to the champion. Hmm? Ohio gives them a game, I think. Yeah, I mean, and we like Akron versus Kent State. They, they. No, they, I like Kent State against Akron. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. See, they shut up. We down. by we, I mean me and Sean. All right. Yes. First round. We're heading to Thursday, March 9th, 8 a.m. here on the West Coast. Miami of Ohio, eight seed taking on Toledo, the one seed. This is a 12 point spread. Lay it. Yeah, Toledo really has yeah. uh Miami's number. And Toledo is like, you know, top 10 offense. Yeah, Travis Lexington steals the new head coach of Which is uh, a horrible matchup for Miami mm. of Ohio's bad defense. Like yeah. this is you, just this is going to be a bloodbath. Do you think Lexington Lexington Steel is a brand ambassador for Sword Vitality? <laughs> What, what does that be. have to do yeah. with this game? That, Travis Lexington steals oh, the head okay. coach, um, <laughs> former Xavier Musketeer head coach a year ago of the Miami, Ohio uh, Redskins, and they're taking on Toledo. So uh, I look, they, they this is year one of that program. So lay the 12 with Toledo. 
Yeah, I mean, it pains me to say, but by the numbers, the Mac is probably a low mid major, so you want to be chalky. Yeah, uh, everyone on Toledo. Shout out to James in the YouTube chat. It's his birthday. Can oh. I get one solid pick for today? Can you today? play uh, Kramer's Happy Birthday? <laughs> Do we have that ice? No, I don't have the whole Damn, thing. Damn, come just... on. I might have it. Hold on. I'll see. There if you I... go. That's the happy birthday part for you. Uh, what's the what's the group lock here for James and his birthday? Uh, I think it's Ohio minus one against Ball State. No, no, he's talking stuff oh, that's happening oh, today, today as we're taping it. Um, I think we uh hammer Hold on, let me Tragic pull, Magic. Wyoming's let me, gonna cover. Let this. me pull no, up the stop, uh stop crowbar in your Wyoming play. Oh, it's Colgate minus fourteen. That's let, a slam uh, dunk. I'm, I'm pulling up the college basketball picks page over on uh sportsgamblingpodcast.com. Oh, which yeah. if you're not aware, there's all of the picks. And in the app. And in the app. I think all I of the picks, my picks from all of the guys <laughs> on the page. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just look for a nice consensus pick where we all kind of have a str- I, I'll, I'll say Western Kentucky is standing out right now as a, as a potential play. Villanova, Nebraska, any of these stand out to you, Colby? A uh, UTSA, meet meet. A lot seems to be a popular side. Mm. You mm. know, I would say by Colgate. the numbers, it's it's Colgate. Uh, Colgate. <laughs> okay. I can't I can't get involved in any. Uh, okay. Any non Lehigh Patriot League. <laughs> Do we all like Nebraska? I would yeah, say. Let's you go know Nebraska. what, James? Let's go Nebraska. Shout out to our guy, Larry the Cable Guy. Probably, <laughs> listening, probably listening right now. Oh, yeah. Big fan. All right. Moving along, 10 a.m. on the West Coast. Ohio, the five seed. Ball State, the four seed. Ohio, a one point favorite. Colby kind of laid out, uh, and Sean, as to why this is true. Ball, it, well, Ball State, they, they cooled off at the end and just dealing with a bunch of injuries. So I uh, love Ohio here laying the small number. And, uh, you know, you. Colby completely talked me off my uh they're a scrappy team and I was gonna get involved with them angle. So uh yeah, I guess easy play on Ohio. Colby, anything to add? No, I think Ohio's uh playing the be- some of the best ball on the Mac right now. And I think Ball State away from Muncie, just a different team. Uh go with the veteran team. Well, and also too, the the one thing that jumps out is how bad Ball State is defending the three. Both teams shoot the three well. Ball State doesn't defend it well, and uh I think that could be the difference. Give me Ohio. All right, another Discord pick, and again, it is the the chalk low mid major theory. So let's see if it continues to be. James says he's going with Nebraska. So all right, there we go. Let's go. I mean, they are playing the Gophers, and the Gophers are pretty low right now. Noon on the West Coast, Northern Illinois, the seven seed. One of the teams we decided had no chance to win this tourney. They're taking on Kent State, the two seed, laying eleven. Kent State, you know. I, Th- this another this is a lot like the Toledo matchup in my mind where you know class of the conference against some some teams that are stragglers I'll say this though um they beat Kent State at home uh in January by 10 points revenge revenge game certainly for Kent State I don't like Northern Illinois on the money line but I I feel like this Spread is a hair too high, and Kent State could be looking ahead. Uh, I'll, I'm going to take the NILs uh, for uh, <laughs> catching 11 points here. All right, I like that shot. Uh, they really the NIL deal. I like they should that. Lean, in, lean into that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Your NIL destination, Northern Illinois. I mean, I, I get why Kent State's a big favorite here, but this just feels a hair high. For t- they beat them by 10. Like I, I, that's a little crazy. I'm with you. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I like the name. I'm with you for the NIL name, okay. but I think Kent State locks them down. At Kent, Ohio is really close to uh, Cleveland. This is a home game. Yeah, come on, Northern Illinois. That's not much of a drive. You know those the kids are going to be cold. Yeah, you know those kids are going to be loading up in the in the SUVs, driving out, bringing that NIL magic to Cleveland, Ohio. Kramer, what are you doing? Kent State. Uh, also worth <laughs> noting, Kent State basically in Cleveland. So. The, the if the, if anyone's gonna have a home crowd, Northern Northern Illinois is the longest trip here, all the way from uh, west of Chicago. Buffalo, the six seed, they're taking on my Zips from Akron. I think Bronny goes there. That's my prediction. Three really? seed, ah, be a great hero story. 
LeBron's from Akron, right? No, I I mean again, Akron it's, laying six. It's tough to figure it out because he doesn't need any money and no, but what, it's like what exactly? Like you, he just wants to and play. I do, and I do think he wants to go somewhere where he could showcase and be a star. He probably doesn't realize he's not that good yet. Akron actually might be a great destination for him, especially he can show off his offense a little bit. Yeah, Akron laying six against Buffalo, who. Not not a tremendous, not the longest road trip, but you know, got to go get around that big old lake there. Yeah, I, I mean, once again, I love Akron. This is a big number, though. Yeah, yeah I'll be on the zips too. But I, I'm I'll lay it. What it, mid Zip major? It up. Low mid major. Lay up. This you got to go chalk here. You got to snorkel. System. Snorkel in the first oh. round of the match. Oh, yeah. How dare you? Snorkel in the first round of the match. How dare you? <laughs> you know I. I, I don't know if you were listening in the beginning of the show when Sean was reading off the records, but I am smashing right now. I'm smashing so hard I've closed the season gap on you motherfuckers. Really? I mean, not not so much on Colby, but uh, mm. yeah, kind of on mm. Colby and definitely on mm. you, Sean. Well, you know. And, and I'm just maybe, on fire right. Is that the now. real some reason? The, some of these com- computations, I, I don't really understand. Is that, is that the real reason he's he uh, <laughs> stacking the money is is going to hit the slopes? No, you can't <laughs> you got, oh. you got that conference <laughs> tournaments. <laughs> you got conference tournaments going on, and he's going to hit the slopes. Well, yeah, I, I'll be watching the game. This was this was already exposed. I mm. mean, someone did mention Snork. y'all making Snork. y'all making Snork. fun of Ryan. Uh, Sean's up there on the boat. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's. He's snow snorkeling, Colby. <laughs> He's literally skiing. Again, skiing was something different when I was a kid. All right. Um, love hitting the ski. Uh, love hitting the slopes, and especially when I'm rocking. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Let's get him going. <laughs> My shady rays. If you haven't gotten a pair of shady rays yet, I don't know what you're doing. You're missing out. These uh, glasses are fire. They are. Uh, they're just great shades. Honestly, durable, flexible. Uh, and Shady Rays, cool company. Honestly, they're independent. They offer a world-class product, much like the SGPN durable frames. And even if you if you figure out how to lose or break your pair, even day one, they told us they're gonna send you a no uh, a new pair, no questions asked. And again, uh, when you rock Shady Rays, you can do it with confidence, knowing they have your back with uh, long after the purchase. That's the worst part about upgrading to nice sunglasses. You're always worried about breaking them, scratching them, whatever it is, and or even just not liking them. And if you don't like them, you can return them free within 30 days. You have nothing to lose except losing out on looking uh, amazing and having these sweet ass polarized lenses. That's really what you could be missing out on. Again, go to shadyrays.com, use the promo code SGPN for 50% off a two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself shades rated five stars by over 200,000 people. That's shadyrays.com promo code S G P N. And if I could make a recommendation, as someone who breaks sunglasses, yes, you got to go th- take advantage of the two pairs. Yeah, just have one for like when you're doing gnarly stuff like beach camping, and then one for the classy stuff. You know? <laughs> mm, mm. Colby knows what I'm talking about. Sand gets in everything, scratches up the lenses. All right, moving along to the fabulous American Athletic Conference. Should should note that uh, Wichita State's leading scorer Jaquan Walton, who mm. missed the last two uh, two games. He's back and expected to play. And remember, shock of wheat. It's like a it's not not like a sexual This is definitely a wheat shocker. It's not a sexual thing at all. <laughs> uh, they're just they're just humble me- measly farmers out there in the Midwest. Tulsa the eleven seed, East Carolina. You talking all this fucking hot garbage all year about my hokies. Meanwhile, the East Carolina butt pirates, nine seed. Oh, great first year though. Great first but year. Four hundred to one. <laughs> Do we take four hundred to one? Oh There's no Cal Poly. SMU not clearly not paying people enough. Ten seed, two hundred fifty to one. Wow. <laughs> South Florida. Remember when we were doing the Big Twelve and like the the worst team was forty to one. South Florida, the eight seed, one hundred and thirty to one. And now we talk about teams with a real chance to win. Temple, the five seed, Sean. You're gonna have a real torn matchup here later when we get to the first round. Thirty to one, along with the seven seed UCF and the six seed, like Colby mentioned, Wichita State. Twenty two to one for Tulane. The Green Wave. The three seed. Cincinnati, the four seed. 
12 to 1 the Bearcats uh you know it's it's a year year of the Kelseys so I feel like there's a little uh, maybe some positive karma there Memphis the 2 seed obviously now we're at the class of the conference at plus 450 and Houston the 1 seed Minus three hundred. Are they are they the favorites to win the national championship as well? I think so. I think so. Especially, Especially with, with the UCLA U- injury. Yeah, yeah. UCLA news. To think about how good you are that you are a minus three hundred to win a, a a tourney. And again, apologies if you think I say tournament incorrectly. It's yeah, how, well, it, when I East Carolina made. beats South Florida, they're the one team that can slow down Houston, I believe. Um, Houston has to South, win three games, and they're minus three hundred. Mm. Here's what I would have to say, That's and uh, <laughs> Benedict Dantold's making a great case, and I'm I'm definitely oh, obviously going to be on board. Temple, Duh. Temple basketball at thirty to one, I I think is a great proposition, very winnable game against Cincinnati, and then you would imagine they square off against Houston. They won in Houston. Now, granted, they got their ass kicked when they played back in Temple, but we're talking about thirty to ones. They already have that first round by. They're in the quarterfinals. Thirty to one for this Temple team to win three games. Again, the mechanical parlay might pay out better, but I I think you got to tell us a little on the Owls here at thirty to one. Nope. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I, I was gonna I say. Think, right? uh, yeah. I think a Memphis play is worthy because wow. they have unbelievable talent and they probably should have just beat Houston on Sunday. I so say, they're the only yeah. team that can, can get on the court with them. Let me make the case for, for a nice long shot here in Wichita state. Can I just say one, one last thing? So I just figured it Houston's uh, mechanical money line parlay would have to, to, a, to have the same price as minus 300. So bet 300 win a hundred. It's a minus 1000. Minus one thousand, minus one thousand. So they're they're projected to be minus one thousand in each round, according to this. Which will they be, Colby? They might not be. This might yeah. actually be good value. Yeah, yeah. If you like Houston, you bet the minus three hundred. I mean, there's only one other team that's probably on their talent level, and that's Memphis. And what would the spread be in a Memphis? Memphis is good, and and getting plus four fifty on them. They closed out strong, six and two. Uh, I'm with you, Colby. I'll take a small sprinkle on Memphis. But what's the yeah. What's the spread if they play Memphis? Probably four or five, something like that. Yeah, they're not going to be a one thousand favorite against Memphis, right? Both games came down like the final minute. Yeah. I think it'll be a good game, and I think Temple's that fun long shot. Do you have a, a fun long shot, Colby? I do. East Carolina? No. Uh, well, I'm no. gonna sprinkle because it's just worthy because they have the heart of gold. But um, uh, Wichita Colby. State is one that stands out to me because the style of ball they play. I think they present a huge problem for Tulane. So uh, Tulsa is terrible. Wichita is gonna take care of Tulsa. Uh, so I do have Wichita playing Memphis. I do think it would, their luck would run out there, but if UCF was to upset Memphis, then I think Wichita would beat UCF and you would have Wichita squaring off against the Houston Cougars or perhaps East Carolina. I know Temple's not worthy enough. They're a team from Philadelphia. They can't, I, they can't beat a team from Greenville, yeah. but um, uh, see what you did there. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I mean, I, give me a. I guess I, I Where think is the this only game two. Being played? Shout out to uh, High Stakes Snorkeler in the YouTube chat. Colby is a bit too close to the source material here. He would benefit from a wider snorkeler's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this game um, being played? What do you mean? The in tournament? Te- it's yeah. in Texas. It's in, it's at, in at the Fort Dickies Ward. Arena. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think I, I honestly think you uh, if I remove the ECU, which let's let's do that, yeah. you got to take someone from the south side of the bracket. I think UCF or Wichita would be your best options for a dog, like a heavy dog. I don't mind the Wichita angle, thirty to one. Yeah. I'm I'm sticking with Temple, Temple and Memphis. Colby, you got Memphis and Wichita. Oh, give me Houston all day. We just figured out how much value this is going to be. Houston mm-hmm. minus three hundred. Snork, snork, <laughs> snork. Come along with the snorks. <laughs> Please All don't right, so poke them with forks. Th- this game's being played in Texas, where Houston will will certainly have the crowd. Texas is a gigantic state. Gigantic though, state. All right, that's that's far from Houston. But okay? most of the teams are not in Texas. We can agree on that. Uh, the, fi- Huge if true. the final four is also in, in Houston. Houston this year. Jim Nance. Have Jim you heard Nance, this theory? Houston alumnus last calling year, his last, last final yeah. four. Mm-hmm. This is Houston's year, and I don't think it starts with them getting upset in the American Athletic Conference. 
I think they take care of business. Mm. And I think as much as it sucks, like we're, we keep talking about how this is a fun year for college basketball because there's all these teams that can win. And I agree. There's this incredible class of teams that can win, but Houston is, is Houston not clearly the best team in the nation. I, I think the the thing you got to say though, they is would have home court advantage. I understand that, but they've been playing in the AAC and no, Memphis has had them on the ropes. Temple beat them. Kent state had them on the ropes, but they, they won. They did, but those, not against you. Not against you. Temple. Learn things from being in those close battles, regardless uh, but of when how you're playing those teams. It's a little different when you run into some of these Big Twelve. Teams. And maybe you're right, but I, I I'll bet Houston minus three hundred. We just I just laid out the math. TJ from the research team saying uh, Memphis has lost six games not to Houston this year by a combined twenty one points. Yeah, Memphis is one of those really is good. Bama. Yeah. So I think Memphis at plus four fifty is fun. Temple okay. thirty to one. How Kramer. Fun. I mean, Memphis just lost to Houston at the buzzer. All right, I, both games were single digits, like down to the final three minutes of the game. So you're telling me away from Houston, Memphis doesn't have a chance? I don't believe you. I, I like the Wichita angle. I'm gonna go Wichita, but then massive, like massive, massive units on Houston and Akron today. That maybe that's a nice conference parlay. Mm. But Houston minus three hundred, Wichita State tiny sprinkle at thirty to one. You want to talk about the first round? Uh, did did he even put the? the uh, yeah, I don't know. He, yeah. I think he's he's, he's got ignoring you. Multi handed Checking out the ski going slopes going on. Yeah, he, he says, is. Uh, see, he see, said Vale or uh, making sure he or has Breckenridge, the, the right um, polarized shady rays for the for the slopes. <laughs> you you definitely got to protect. Show's your eyes. going downhill. See what it did there. I, I don't know. It feels like he's trying to throw shade. When he said he hit, hit the trip. slopes this week, I assumed he was just doing cocaine and watching a ton of college basketball, <laughs> right? Maybe watching Cocaine Bear again, but no. As the show goes, Colby, down. have you even seen Cocaine Bear? Yet? Nope. As, as this Sorry, Sean. This is the ultimate benefit. You know, there's move. a twelve percent chance that movie theaters get shot up these days, so I I removed myself. Twelve percent chance. All right. Well, Where are you getting those stats? As the sh- as the show goes downhill, let's avoid all trees, Colby. East Carolina, the nine seed, taking on South Florida. The oh, the hammer! This seed. is a great dog opportunity, guys. Our, take your heart out of this. No, I'm serious. Like we're Mike Schwartz is the best coach no. East Carolina has had. No, I'm May serious. the Schwartz be with us. <laughs> I am all with Carolina here because I mean, honestly, like we're gonna cap off a a great first year. Mm. ECU has not been this competitive in years. Uh, you know, you have to win the game. You, you got to be more than just competitive. They lost to, against South Florida. Come, they on. lost by a combined 19 points for South Florida this year in two mm. matchups. Oh, and why two. are they only getting two points? <laughs> yeah, that's what you, Go, you wait. Why I'm are you telling you, ECU? you you want to take ECU right now? This is Sean. a smash spot. Smash, Sean. You know what? <laughs> their 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 offense is <laughs> <laughs> their offense is not good. Colby. Sean, I'm a little bit worried. Don't do it. Our team is talented. <laughs> We're taking right. South Florida. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go South Florida. Colby. Oh, I can't wait to see you guys ah, lose your money. South yes. Florida's coach is fired. All right, he's gone. What he, do you mean he's gone? He's gonna be fired. The team's not buying in anymore. So you th- you think yeah. you this like? It's a great spot. ECU's got all the momentum. I. This is ridiculous. You, uh, we're taking South Florida and we're running with it. Eleven thirty on the West Coast. We, we got do not have Colby's ECU. Music. I know. See? Tune into the college oh, no. experience yeah. to hear that. It's okay. The chat wants Colby to have his own soundboard on the show. Mm. Oh, this is no. That would gotta, be that would be reckless. All right. All I don't need to hear uh, George Bush. <laughs> I have no doubt that I have no doubt that human being and fish can coexist peacefully, Sean. So here's the thing: Colby doesn't need the soundboard. I don't need just... I don't need nine minutes straight of Lou Holtz. Yeah. Uh, why not? You don't? I disagree. I, like, I, like a spr- I disagree. I like a sprinkling of Lou Holtz. I I think that we ha- there's like some uh, Colby for those who don't know, very into the art of things, and I do think there is something in our future where Colby doing some sort of DJing, and but it's. <laughs> It's just some nightclubs. It's the soundboard. So C- CJ Sullivan said that I should tour the U.S. with my with my uh, with my iPad. If you've never, <laughs> if you've never, I mean, watched, that's essentially what TJs are. If you never watched uh, Colby hit the board on YouTube, uh, check out uh, his show on YouTube. It, 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 it's a DJ's uh, it's a DJ's act. All right, uh, eleven thirty on the West Coast. SMU the ten seed against Central Florida the seven seed. Central Florida laying ten points here. Is that correct, Colby? Is that a typo? What am I reading? They're laying ten. Oh my goodness! How bad is SMU? This is a home game for SMU. That's though. what Take I'm saying. Take the points. How yeah. You, I mean, there's two teams from this. 
conference that play in Texas. They're playing the whole conference tournament there. You got to think they're going to have some fans, but they're 250 to 1 to win it. No, I don't think they win the game outright, but I think they can cover the 10. You think they can score points? What do they do against UCF this year? UCF does have a top 40 defense, which is scary yeah. uh, if you're taking the dog that they just don't get anything going. Offensively, UCF beat SMU by 32. Yeah, that was in Orlando. <laughs> that was in Orlando. This is this is a home game. They only played one time this year. Give me give me the Mustangs. Mustangs are treating us right this year. You saw it with Cal Poly. You know, I I'm, I'm starting to think, Sean, that we need to avoid all of Colby's picks in this. Oh. <laughs> so he is, he is very I'm, close I'm to fe- it. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not I'm feeling like th- like like the Benedict is get, is going to come out and he's he's already shaken a little bit. So yeah, I mean, it sounds like give me give me Central Florida. This is a lower mid-major conference. Chalk does make sense. Mm. Once again, same exact scenario as ECU. First year coach at SMU. The team is playing better right now. I'm gonna play UCF. Beginning of the year. I'm gonna go UCF minus ten. Sean, do you feel his tail wagging (laughs) over there? He's very excited about talking. (laughs) He's very upset. You know, this is him. He's very upset with us right now. Tulsa. We're not listening to him about the conference he loves the most. Tulsa, the 11 seed. Wichita State, the six seed. Love Wichita State here. Yep. Fits the chalk low mid major model. And you know, again, not to continually bring up the fact Tulsa that coming in hot, losing uh, eleven in a row. The location one in seventeen, last eighteen. The location of this conference tournament makes so little sense. It's like if you pull up a map of the AAC, the location of this tournament is barely on the map. It might not even be on. What do you mean? This is see. I see TJ talking about this. Texas is twice the size of Germany. You think these people are traveling for SMU basketball? <laughs> Fort Worth is like ten minutes away from SMU. Isn't isn't SMU in Dallas? Yes, but TCU yeah. uh, SMU is the rivalry. It's I right know. there. I know. Sonny Dykes didn't have to. He didn't even buy a new house when he took that job. I know. What I'm <laughs> what I'm getting to is that uh, Wichita State and Tulsa. That, I mean, this actually could have a lit atmosphere. It's an afternoon game. Both of these teams are close ish. <laughs> Compared to the rest of the conference, now nah, Wichita State lay the points. If it's the model, we like them on the future. They get started with a bang. I'll keep it chalky. I mean, they are just they're just such a better team. Colby, you on Wichita State as well? I am. Do you see my my record in these conference tournaments, Sean? This system is not a fucking joke. I mean, Tulsa Handle is really care. Tulsa is really really bad. Yeah, I mean, you're when you're a one four- and seventeen in conference Tulsa. I just can't see. There's it. a first year coach where the team hasn't gotten better, so it makes no sense to take them. But it makes oh, sense to take SMU and ECU see, on their first year his, coaches. His system's breaking down. Meanwhile, our system is. Yeah. is My system gave you Cal Poly because you guys knew shit about Cal Poly. Hold on. Right? Look this up. No, I'm, lo- I'm actually I'm actually looking in my black book here. That was the 350 to one system yes. coming through for yes, me. Yes, but you didn't know they play. You didn't know them. You we're didn't know syst- about them. We're system guys. Again. Snork. 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 <laughs> the year was 2000. Uh, Virginia Tech rugby top 16 in the nation played Cal Poly. Well aware of it. All right. Next up, we move to the following day where I had Cal Poly on my on the money line, Colby. Why'd yeah. you go? Why'd you go Abilene Christian? Because you pick Cal Poly. <laughs> oh, okay. oh wow! No, that, I pick that, last in those that, things. That's a lot, right? That, that, well, you're the expert. <laughs> that doesn't stop you sometimes. All right. Uh, eat the winner of ECU South Florida will be getting their ass beat by Houston. Uh, I'm laying whatever the number is with Houston here uh, as the one seed. Then we move along to noon on Friday the tenth. Temple, the five seed, Cincinnati, the four seed, Cincy laying five points here. Like I mentioned, it's the year of the Kelsey versus a team from Philadelphia. Sean is, ooh, is potentially ooh. torn here because of course Temple is in that uh, middle middle rung of Philadelphia sports teams, probably somewhere between the flyers and the, and the, and the baseball team. Uh, Listen to this slander. What? It, where do where does Temple rank compared to like, what's the what? Where where do they go compared to the Philly sports teams? Ah, uh, you know they're in the mix. Are, are they in the top five? Temple? No. T- how do you rank? What about college teams? Top college team? Yeah, top five college team for sure. Oh wow. Mm. Drexel ahead of them? Mm. Uh no, they're better than Drexel. There's another team called Villanova, Ryan, oh, okay. number one. See, I think a real a real Philadelphia dude would say Temple number one. 
Because Villanova is those private school pussies. <laughs> yeah, but they're good. Uh, you know, for 39 years, Temple played football before the Philadelphia Eagles existed. Oh, look mm. at this. Mm. Who's really got the heart of Philadelphia? Well, definitely the Eagles. Um, <laughs> also had an all time coach with towel biter. Uh, yeah, yeah, Temple's got Temple, a uh, very fun program historically. They hit their free throws. Um, pretty solid defense. I, I just, I think this is going to be a game. Why would you not take them uh, getting the five points? They, they split the season series. Last game went to OT. I, I don't know. I just don't see Cincinnati blowing them out here. I think I'm actually with you. I think Cincinnati is, is, is improving in year two with West Miller. But Aaron McKee, he's coaching for his job here. You, you lose this game, I think you're fired. So uh, give me Temple plus five. You see how far these guys have to travel? It's true. Holy Toledo! I, they're flying, right? Temple can afford. It's a public school. They got that they, Cosby money. They can. Oh wow! <laughs> they can afford a plane ticket, or they got to they take a bus down there, because that's like a two day. If it's a bus trip, it's a two day trip. They're probably stopping off in Nashville somewhere and getting some barbecue. All right, yeah. I mean, I'm obviously not on Temple. It's the year of the Kelseys. I think Nathan's got it right. I think since he's probably going to win the game, Temple's going to mm, cover. There's a small window nope. for that to happen. Nope. Temple. See, right. uh, you're looking at my dog player. Already. Continuing on with uh, a couple good systems here. A low mid major favorite system, along with Fade Colby, when he's clearly shook a little bit. Uh, Colby due, is a little too close to due to emotional. Uh, you uh, know, look, I, you snorkel. All right, you I, snorkel. <laughs> All right. I like to snorkel. I like to do a lot snorkeling of snorkeling is fun. To be clear, I don't want to no. come off as anti snorkeling. You probably still think John Thompson's at Georgetown. All right. Wish he was. <laughs> Wish he was. All right. Hey, did it. Time for our locks and our dogs. Brought to you by swordvitality.com. Mm. Head over there. Unsheath your sword. Get that blood flowing. Maximize your stamina. Kramer. Just got unlock something. We, is, is, is potential transition there to talk about sword. Uh, locks. Give me the Mac and give me my Akron Zips. Uh. And heading over to the American. So many po positive opportunities here. But when I heard Colby bring up ECU, it only made me think w one thing. Well. You're gonna lock up I'm, USF. Guess Ryan? I'm locking up South Florida. Oh wow! Just spitting in his face. Luckily, he's got the dive mask on. Mm. Mm. And I look around. <laughs> Colby's so angry. I'm noticing I only took favorites on the sh on this show. So uh, for, yeah, so yeah. for my <laughs> favorites for Ryan. So for my dog, uh, snork, can snork, I, snork. Can I just snork, 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 snork. 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 Give us, give us your dog. Okay, I want to hear your dog. Live high football rules. <laughs> All the money on Akron. <laughs> Akron wins the Mac. Okay. Is that is that allowed? Not really. But okay, then I'll parlay. Okay, what do you got? Uh, we're gonna parlay Toledo, Kent State, UCF, and Wichita. Four ways. That'll pay one thousand, about ten to one. We'll say. <laughs> Wait, Kent State, UCF, or Kent State. UCF, Wichita, yes. and Toledo. Found yourself a sand dollar, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All laying the points. All right, for me. Uh, starfish. <laughs> like some fucking Nemo fish down there looking all orange. My Mac lock is Ohio. My AAC lock is South Florida's good lock. Join me. Uh, Wichita minus 13. It's gonna be a bloodbath against Tulsa. And my dog, give me the temple owls. Who, who, who is beating him, Colby? The answer is in the Bearcats. Uh, the lock in the Mac is Akron minus six. Oh, interesting. Mm. Uh, echo. The echo. lock in the AAC is East Carolina plus two. <laughs> yes. And the dog. So hot right now. Is man, do I gotta go Temple here, huh? It's gonna be a one possession game. Give me the Temple Owls. Who? Basically Pop just, Warner once coached for the Temple Owls. I can't fade Pop Warner. That's a great nugget. Hey, thank you guys as always for tuning in. Smash that subscribe button. Toss us a nice rating and review over on Apple Podcasts. Trying to give away this SGPN gift card 
Just need a good review to come in over on Apple Podcasts. And of course, uh, sportsgamingpodcast.com slash golf party. You get, get a blooming onion with that gift card? Yes, you get a blooming <laughs> onion. Uh get in over on the golf party thing. Uh, win our win our uh our our prize, which is, is a uh, you got a nice stay over at Circle Las Vegas. Watch the Masters with us over at Stadium Swim. Gonna be awesome. Have uh, has Colby looked up golf party yet? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm still the. I'm still excited about the lemon party in DC. <laughs> hey. Yeah, don't Google that one. <laughs> Google uh, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash golf party. Thank you for participating in the sports mm. gambling podcast. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean Stagg the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Great show, guys. Kramer, let it ride. Oh boy, we got what Colorado State Fresno and a barn burner, Mason and Richmond and a barn burner right now. More content. Can you, you can you um uh CJ's gonna be recording bottom line bombs after today?